What's up you guys? So we starting off the day at home, but I finally got my hands on the new Lenovo Yoga Pro 7 and your boy is hyped because it is teal. But more importantly, this thing does have the new AMD Ryzen AI engine. AI is about to be in a lot of tech moving forward. So we might as well see how it helps us during our day to day. So we're gonna be spending the full day with this thing. Now, after doing typical morning stuff with the family and dropping Austin off to school, I made my way over to the studio and got to working on some of the boring stuff to start the day, like email, scheduling, and a bunch of other stuff. So multitasking to start my morning, and it handled all of that without skipping a beat. For the average person's use cases, performance here is going to be great for this kind of thing, but we haven't even pushed it yet. All right guys, so we've been in the studio for a little bit now, and I've been using the Yoga Pro 7, and I gotta say, I've been doing a bunch of emails, a lot of typing. And this keyboard, it just feels really buttery to type on this. So I'm not mad at it at all. Having to do as much typing as I do in the morning, uh, this has been a joy to work with. But let's talk about like the overall look of this thing, right? So this is the Yoga Pro 7, 14 inch laptop, sleek, and it is rocking the title teal color. I mean, I don't think a laptop can come in a better color than this. Am I biased? Maybe. There's like another color as well. It's like a darker gray. But as long as Lenovo keeps making this particular one, I'll be a fan. Uh, I like a lot of the design elements. It's like got this nice round feel to it. Uh, even at the top where you have your 1080p camera up here, which also has Windows Hello. It's got like this little bump over here, which I'm a fan of because it makes it really easy to pop the top open without the whole thing moving. Now, in terms of I.O., we're looking at two USB-C ports on the left side, as well as an HDMI 2.1 port. So 2.1 is great. And on the other side, we have a 3.2 USB-A headphone jack power button, as well as your camera switch. So you can turn off your camera at any moment, which is a nice feature if you're concerned about privacy. But yeah, for an almost 15 inch laptop, this thing still feels really slick. Uh, that 14.5 inch display can be a 3K display or a 2.5K, depending on the specs that you wanna go for. And speaking of specs, I'll have the specs that I'm using currently with this, uh, but these can get pretty beastly. Uh, but one thing you'll notice is that this is rocking AMD's Ryzen AI engine. And you guys know the deal. AI is going to become a part of a lot of tech and we've got it here. So that means we're gonna have some really cool features. We'll talk about that a little bit later. I still got some stuff to shoot. So I'm gonna run downstairs. I'll probably grab the script that I have over here, take it with me and do some more shooting. All right guys, so something I, I have to mention, the power button being in this spot right here, I'm not a fan, only because while holding it, it's so easy to press. I actually had the laptop on as I was coming downstairs, puts it to sleep, not crazy about that. Pretty easy to touch over here. Now, awkward power button placement aside, I'm loving the feel of a 14 inch like this because it seriously makes taking it around very easy. This is definitely like the sweet spot for students or anyone else who moves around a lot when working, but still wants a decently sized display. Being able to take this down to the basement and use it to reference the shots I needed for an upcoming video was great because it didn't feel cumbersome to use, <clears throat> considering the fact that, you know, things like smartphones exist. I could have my full shot list open and communicate with my team while shooting and getting everything else done. After wrapping up the shoot, I wanted to do the, you know, typical coffee shop thing as I grabbed a bite to eat so that I could see how it feels to use this thing while actually on the go. This is disgusting. I don't know why I bought it. I was looking for a protein drink, but man. I'm doing some photo editing right now. Like I said before, this thing is still really portable, even though it has that nice 14.5 inch display that I can absolutely work with. And I feel like I've been on this thing all day at this point. It's like 3 p.m. and we're at like 49% battery, which is pretty decent, especially considering we've been doing some downloading in the back as well. Try to throw a couple games on here, just to see if I can kill some time later. Now the thing is I'm gonna have to jump on a call after this, so I'm gonna have to get out of here with all this music playing in the background. Uh, so we're gonna have to do some calls on the road. I did end up throwing up some Lightroom to do some photo editing of a couple of shots I took of the Zord I put together the other night. And it was great being able to jump on here and make the changes I needed. The screen on the Yoga Pro 7 looks great and with a 3.2K resolution, I had more than enough room to work with and get the colors down right for the flick. This is actually a pretty solid laptop for content creation 
especially if you plan on using any software that involves AI and generative filling, because you guys can see it gets it done quick. All right guys, so I gotta really quickly jump on this call. So I'm gonna be relying a bit on AI to kind of blur the background so they can't really tell where I am. Thankfully, this laptop does have AMD's Ryzen AI. So I'm going to just go for it. I mean, I've got it up right now. It doesn't look terrible. Like so many people use like blurring features or even like these weird backgrounds. For the most part, I should be okay. As long as Dom doesn't talk. You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> That's true. I honestly could just, be in space, they wouldn't know where I am. That could work. I am not a fan of taking conference calls when I'm outside. So this is one of those instances where I did need to rely on AI. Now, thanks to AMD's inclusion of AI in their processor, if you jump on a Teams call, you can get the option to blur your background or replace it with a completely different image. I'm not even crazy about the default stuff that Teams offers. So I opted for blurring the background and I don't think anyone could tell can you tell that I'm in a car? No. Oh, or cared quite honestly, but at least for myself, I know I felt good about how I was presenting myself for the call. So it was pretty much time to wrap up the day, but I, I had to see what gaming was like before we left. And from what I can tell, it looks like gaming is not gonna be an issue here whatsoever. Hold on. It's having a conversation over me here. But yeah, you can definitely play some games on here. I don't know if you want to try to crank out max settings or anything, uh, but for the configuration that I have right here, uh, the games definitely seem playable, which makes me kind of feel good about this. It feels like a really well-rounded laptop. Uh, battery life has been solid. Even with some gaming, we've got, what, it's 5 p.m., about 21% left. I'm not gonna say I was on this the entire day or anything, but I've been on this, this has been the main machine, and it survived the full workday. By the time I get home, I'll still have some juice. So we're definitely seeing AMD's impact here in terms of battery life. All right, it's late though, and Ari's gonna kill me, so it's time to wrap this up. So check it out. I'm a fan of using larger laptops to do most of my day-to-day -day activities, but I feel like my eyes are kind of open to this sweet spot with the 14 inch here because it gives you a large enough display as well as that portability. And when you factor in all of the other things, being able to do some gaming if I wanted to, the awesome typing experience, as well as all of the power and battery life that an AMD Ryzen processor brings to the table, the Yoga Pro 7 is definitely something I would consider if you're looking for a new laptop. But of course, if you guys wanna learn even more, I'll have it linked down below. Catch you in the next one, guys. Peace.